What's going on, homies? Today, we're going to be talking about the Stompies nerf. And I think the only thing that I pretty much need to tell you is just unbind dodge. That's the simple answer. Go into your settings, wherever your dodge button is located, hunter class ability, whatever is located, unbind it. That's how you counter the Stompies nerf. All right, I'm going to catch y'all later in the next one. Peace. Now, on a serious note, the Stompy change is complete crap. I mean, it, it sucks. It's honestly tragic for us Stompy mains out there. I don't understand it. I'm going to save the rest of my comments for the end of the video because the point of this video is to let my fellow hunter mains know that there are other exotics besides Stompies that are actually really good. And I think warrant usage, especially now that this Stompy nerf is going through. And I will be assisting you guys on some exotic choices. Without further ado, let's just get right into this. Now, I know this is going to sound really crazy coming from me when I am known to just, you know, freeball the video. But I kind of scripted this. Not word for word or bar for bar, but I got a little, a little outline, so I'm going to just follow it. Uh, I think we have to start off by recognizing there's like four things that I want to talk about. And it's just ways to adjust the stompies. The first thing is recognizing your alternatives. And these alternatives are going to give you some type of movement. And while it may not feel as good as stompies do right now, they still do give you some type of movement that will alter the way your hunter feels while you're jumping to destroy some ops. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about Dragon Shadow. This is actually an exotic I used to main before stompies because I was a sniper main, but or I am a sniper man, but they kept hitting gambler's dodge with like so many nerfs, which made Dragon Shadow inadvertently get nerfed because the uptime just didn't feel the same. But I think it's still really good. It's still a really strong exotic, and it's going to warrant even more usage considering that Stompy's now turns into reverse Dragon Shadow. Stompy's new change uh, in enhances you to not use the dodge, whereas Dragon Shadow makes you want to use the dodge so that you can get the movement and i think that is a very very good thing when the power is in your hands to get the movement plus the pre-nerf quick draw and max reload on all your guns it makes everything feel good makes your movement feel good makes your guns feel good and it's personally going to be my new main exotic if you haven't tried this out i do recommend you to try out dragon shadow this is dragon shadow gameplay that you're seeing in the back i won't have gameplay for every exotic that i do talk about but I will talk about them nonetheless. So Dragon Shadow, first exotic for an alternative to Stompies. It's probably going to be as close to one to one movement as you can get, plus some other stuff. All right, next up on the list I'm talking about is Mask of Backers. Mask of Backers is a really good exotic. It replaces your dodge with a short range teleport. And the only caveat to this exotic is as soon as you use the dodge, you have like a 10 second cooldown until you can use it again. But it's not that bad, really. You can wait it out. And the teleport is, is really good, especially paired with Winter Shroud. You pretty much slow someone when you dodge next to them or teleport next to them. And it's just a free kill right after. It's really good for movement, really good for instant directional control. As you can see on the screen right now, this guy's completely lost. What can you do against something like that? I mean, I got lost right here, but it's fine. The sheer fact is that this is just great movement and it also gives you power back in your hands where you get to use your dodge and you still maintain the movement that you so love as a hunter. I do recommend that you try this exotic, you pick it up. This is a great counter to some Stompies players as well because you just have instant movement. The next exotic that I have my eye on is Frosties. Frosties are particularly good because when you use your dodge, you get increased sprint speed. And Stompies inherently give you sprint speed, so except you're going to lose that when you dodge. But with Frosties, when you dodge, you gain that back. It also is really good because it just passively gives you a cool down towards getting that dodge back so that you have that dodge for your in your kit just you know laying around for extra movement it also gives you all your abilities back as well so when you do use that dodge even though that's on cooldown your abilities are also on cooldown as well this is just a potent exotic and i do recommend trying it 
Now I do want to point out that these three exotics that I named are just ones that I particularly have my eye on, but this is not limited to the exotics that you can use. Keep in mind that you're able to use any exotic you think you will have fun with or succeed with on Hunter. I know a lot of people that use Six Coyote for instance, they like to have that double dodge. I'm just saying these are the ones that I'm keeping my eye on personally and I'm just going to recommend them to you. My next point is get you a new neutral exotic. Stompies are just a neutral exotic that just buff your movement, but there are plenty of other neutral exotics that give you inherently something strong that enhances your playstyle on the battlefield. For example, something like Speed Loader Slacks. Speed Loader Slacks are particularly good because this is like Dragon Shadow, except you get AE and you can reproc it as well as you have a timer on the side of the screen and they don't look bad. Bungie, please add an ornament for Dragon Shadow. It's not a joke. No, but continuing on. Speed Loader Slacks, you chase step once and the first dodge gives you plus 30 AE. So if you use that plus the Icarus grip, which is usually like a plus 15 on most guns or most primaries, you're already sitting at 45 AE plus the base stat. Let's just say it's 15. You're sitting at 60 AE and it's a considerable bonus and it's noticeable as well you can feel it and that's not even including the handling and the reload that you get and this stacks all the way up to five times this is personally one of my favorite exotics as well i don't know if i'm going to use it over dragon shadow just because of movement but it's good and i do warrant usage on this as well another exotic that i have a blast with a neutral exotic is gemini justice this thing literally just rips your radar. You're going to catch the ops lacking every single time you use this exotic. I am not even joking. As you can see on the screen here, I literally walked past one of the ops because I just went in this and I also ripped his radar. There was almost nothing that the guy could do about it because, I mean, people crush the radar so hard in this game. And you're essentially taking away the most powerful tool, not even arguable, the most powerful tool in Destiny 2 just for shade stepping. Something that Stompy's doesn't want you to do you see what i'm hitting at this exotic is really strong and it's a surprise that i i don't see more of it this thing carried me flawless this weekend to trials and yeah i do recommend using this exotic as well it is way too strong to not see more often lastly this is gonna be a coat pick and i obviously don't have gameplay for it right now because it's actually horseshit but radiant death machines it, the, the way Bungie's talking about it, uh, let me just explain. Multi-dodge, it only activates when you're around someone. See, the problem with multi-dodge in PvP is not only do you not really ever need more than one dodge, but in the occasion that you do, you dodge and you usually get the kill. And the person that you killed was the only thing keeping the multi-dodge up. So you just lost the perk. But Bungie is saying that if you kill people while the multi-dodge perk is active, you get more dodges added. I don't know if that means that you still have to have enemies around, because if so, then disregard everything I just said. The exotic's still garbage. But if it defaults just adds exotic, I mean, adds dodges, I mean, th that exotic could be really good. You could literally dance around the ops on the battlefield and like just be breaking ankles left and right. Like you could really be like Chef Curry out there, like for real, for real. And yeah, so it's a co pick, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on it. And I think you should too as well, because it could literally just be free movement for just dodging and getting a kill. The third thing that I want to talk about is just adapting and embracing the Stompies nerf. Honestly, if you just want to continue to use Stompies post nerf, that's fine because the movement that it grants is still going to be unparalleled. It'll just suck when you use your dodge. With that being said, that just means that you're going to have to be extra cognizant of where you place yourself. Hunters have a bad tendency of sliding lanes or putting themselves in sticky situations because we all know that we have that dodge in our back pocket to just get out. Except now when you use that dodge, you're going to just lose your exotic that you're wearing. So. If you want to keep your Stompy's movement up as much as possible, you just have to be extra cognizant of where you place yourself on the battlefield. With that being said, I think that I have to tell you a couple of tips that can improve your dodge recharge weight. Lightweight weapons, particularly lightweight hand cannons, that being the rolls 
and lightweight shotguns. I know it sounds funny considering precisions on the meta, but lightweights really aren't that bad. I really want to influence you to use them. And actually, Mercury's podcast or, or podcast with Mercury's on it, he stated that lightweights are being looked at and being considered for a buff, which is really good. Lightweights give you a plus two mobility just for having it equipped. And since Radiant Light and Powerful Friends is gone, this is something that I think all hunters should take advantage of because building that dodge is just going to be more imperative than ever, especially when you have to pull most of your stats into mobility, which is generally regarded as a useless stat on other classes. So I think that you should run double lightweights because if I run Stompies, I'm now just going to run double lightweight and just rock eight mobile so that I can put two stats elsewhere since I'm already sacrificing not using my dodge. Another thing that I think we have to take note of is the arc subclass and how strong it is for getting that dodge back. The arc subclass has the spark of focus I think it's called where you just sprint and you get your dodge recharge rate increase. It totals to it feels for me around like half the time just for sprinting it does give you a minus 10 mobility stat but i think it's definitely worth it and also you have so have something called spark of haste which while you're sprinting gives you a plus 30 to mobility resilience and recovery and it sucks that it's only while sprinting but i get the balance behind it still plus 30 is no joke i mean Hunters already run low resil. I run 30 most of the time. And while I'm sprinting, I pretty much have six resil. That's that's crazy. Or if you, you know, sacrifice and play with eight recov like I used to, now I play 10 because yes. Dude, you you now have max recov just for sprinting. And you're probably gonna be sprinting away when you're weak anyways. This isn't a stat that is that should be taken for granted. Arc in general is just really good for getting your dodge back. After it's all said and done, I think we just have to recognize that getting that dodge back is very imperative if you want to continue to use stompies and lightweight weapons as well as arc might be a default when it comes to stompies for me. Of course, there are those that don't like arc hunter and that is fair. So I will give you more options if you want to continue to use stompies about which is probably the best class to pair with it. I think the next best is your solar subclass because and it's not really because you can get the dodge back pretty easily the only way to ever get that dodge back is to use the weighted knife use the radiant melee throw the knife get a kill and it'll give you your dodge back apart from that when you do use the dodge however if you use on your mark and you definitely should be using on your mark when you use on your mark you pretty much get walmart dragon shadow so even though you lose movement at least you gain something in return and that is refreshable for every kill you get the next class i think stompies will pair really well with is this stasis subclass and it's particularly because you have shatter dive as another movement option so my best option for a stasis hunter is to play back with the 120 use your slows and your dust fields as much as you can and because now that stompies don't have the minus 50 ae stat you're actually able to take fights in the air i recommend that you take almost all your fights in the air and just shatter dive back to cover that way you don't really ever have to use your dodge because you're taking fights from a long enough engagement range where you can just take fights in the air pop back into cover regen do it all over again and while i'm at it i might as well go over the last two subclasses stompies is completely kill for void hunter because void hunter's main kit is going invis especially with vanishing step but the problem with vanishing step is you don't do that in the middle of a gunfight it's almost always preemptive you start or initialize a gunfight with that you start with that to get the flank but here's the dilemma you use that dodge up so you lose the movement with stompies in other words if you like void hunter and you also like stompies well that sucks you have to pick one the last subclass is Strand, and Stompies is killed for that class too, as well. It sucks. It, it's just really bad. So, the Strand kit requires you to use the Slam aspect, which requires you to use your dodge, except when you use this ability, it lengthens the dodge cooldown. And it, it feels like 30, 35 seconds, actually. The only way that you can get that dodge back 
you know shorter is if you kill someone that you suspend while using that aspect see the problem is you lose stompies for just that amount of time so I just don't think that Stompies is worth using. And I know the new aspect is coming out. We saw it on the TWAB recently. And while it looks fun, it's not going to be competitive in PvP. So we, we don't even have to worry about it. You just lose the dodge. Just like that. And when you lose the dodge, you lose the Stompies as well. Just like that. So Strand and Stompies, no good. No good anymore either. My last and final tip to combating the Stompy nerf is just use the meta don't even feel bad about it bro it's destiny 2 bro just piss somebody off that's how you need to play anyway bro if you're not making somebody mad on the game did you even play it right like dude you're supposed to make the ops like regret even buying a ps5 or a pc or whatever the console or system they're playing on and like make them want to like do bad things like commit war crimes like for real just just put your uh, just put your oath keepers on and and put your put your lamonarch on put your worm husk and, and your anti is wards and trip mines and just go stupid bro go crazy that's that's all you need to do nah but seriously the stompy nerf is just bewildering i, I don't understand how it passed through there i i just don't get it I'm pretty much done with the other part of the video, so I guess I'll get into my opinions on the Stompy nerf now. First of all, the movement gap should not be nerfed. The movement gap is something that you can't just instantly attain by hopping on Destiny. It is something that is trained, the skill is honed, and nerfing it for the sake of the lower skill bracket who only play three games a week, I think it's just a disservice to the loyal people who have trained that movement gap for ages and ages of time. You didn't see a Bones of AO nerf in D1, and that's because Bones of AO gave better movement, but it wasn't broken because you still had to be good with movement in regards to Bones of AO. And the same applies with Stompies. You can't just put Stompies on and expect an instant win because you have to know how to use that Hunter Jump. There is a skill gap when it comes to Stompies. Another thing that I think is a problem with this nerf is it pales in comparison to other exotics. There are clear outliers in the middle right now. Antius Wars is a clear outlier. Young Ahamkars is a clear outlier. Wormhusk, a clear outlier. And that's just to name a few. And these saw no changes whatsoever. They they didn't get touched. But Bungie took a look at Stompies and decided, damn, these things are broken. And now that we know that they look at things based on usage rate, it really blows my mind. It's mind boggling because usage rate does not instantly mean that something is broken. Like, Jotun's usage rate and lowering skill gap must be high, but that doesn't mean that Jotun is broken. It's not. Another thing that I have a problem with is, if they believe that Stompies provided too much for the sake of nothing, then all movement gap exotics have to be hit. Transversive steps and, and, and the boots on Titan, the crayon munchers, those have to get hit as well, because they provide pretty much the same benefits Stompies did for free. And the last thing I think is, if even if Stompies were going to keep a nerf, the nerf that they're giving is counterintuitive. This, the minus 50 AE was also counterintuitive because there are boots designed to make you jump and use movement more. And now you're telling me that I shouldn't use my movement. And the same applies with this dodge nerf. You want me to use movement, but you take away half of my movement kit. It's just counterintuitive. Why not take away Rezeal or Discipline or Intellect or something? I don't know. I'm not a dev, but I know this wasn't the right call. All in all, I hate the Stompy nerf. And it's not because I'm biased. Maybe it is. I don't know. I just don't think Stompies are broken anyway. But that's all for today's video. If y'all did enjoy this video, you already know what to do. Run them likes up. Run them subs up. You know I will talk back to you if you run them comments up as well. I will talk to you. That's all I got for today. Hell, in the comments, let me know what exotic you probably will be using. If you play Hunter, of course. What exotic will you be using over Stompies? Or let me know if you still will be using Stompies and what subclass you'll be using it on. But I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.